I think this deal represents one of the most comprehensive free trade agreements ever signed. And it's a good deal for British families, businesses and jobs. It gives us a fantastic platform to go forward, maintain tariff-free access to European markets, but also capitalise on new opportunities, whether that's signing new trade deals, and uh, we've already signed, I think, 58, uh, covering about £200 billion worth of trade with more to come, or trying new things like free ports, for example, uh, which will create jobs, drive investment and increase trade. So all of that is exciting to look forward to, but in the short term, our challenge remains dealing with coronavirus, making sure that we've got economic support in place for British families and businesses as they go through what is a difficult winter period. Well, I think there will always going to be people who want to reopen the debates of four years ago, but I don't think that would be the right thing to do. I actually think this deal can represent an enormously unifying moment for our country and bring people together after the divisions of the past few years. For those who voted to leave, uh, this deal means that we will have the freedom that people sought, control of our laws, our borders, our trade. Uh, but for those who were anxious about the economic implications of leaving, they should be enormously reassured by the comprehensive nature of this free trade agreement, ensuring tariff-free, quota-free access for British businesses to the European market, ensuring that close economic partnership and crucially protecting British jobs. Uh, now that we've left the European Union we can do things a bit differently and we're embarking on that journey for example examining how we make the City of London the most attractive place to list new companies anywhere in the world but this deal also provides reassurance because there's a stable regulatory cooperative framework mentioned in the deal uh, which I think will give people that reassurance that we will remain in close dialogue with our European partners uh, when it comes to things like equivalence decisions 